A violent attack in Valencia High School leaves many wondering what to do about fighting. These fights may also happen more commonly than some think. Back on April 28th, at around 10.30 a.m., two students had a physical confrontation on one of the fields on campus, which led to one of the students being stabbed. The suspect has been rumored to have been repeatedly bullied by the victim for months and had received multiple threatening messages. Randy Word is a head sensei at Rising Sun Karate and he has been training with countless students for almost three decades in martial arts and how to correctly and appropriately handle bully situations. Bullies uh, tend to attack victims and if, you, if they can't get an emotional rise out of you, they'll just move on to pick on another victim. Then my next step would be then obviously go tell you know, someone. Like teachers at school and seeing many students come and go, Sensei Randy knows how difficult it may be for a student to speak about their problems. It's usually the kids that are getting bullied are the ones with less confidence. And then if that doesn't work, and then it becomes a physical aspect uh, or a physical attack on you, then I believe you have a right to defend yourself. Logan Traub is a student at Rising Sun and is also in 8th grade. Even in junior high, he still witnesses bullying and fights. I hear about them too many times to count, but I mean, it's, it's such a regular occurrence some days, so I think they need to change up the way they give the consequences for certain situations. With the epidemic of bullying, many wonder if the school system takes enough action and if they are proactive enough when a situation occurs. The school should step in a little bit more um, and be more strict about it. Yeah, I believe if they were a little more proactive that we would have less bullying at school. Hopefully with more awareness towards this issue, the amount of bullying and fighting in schools will decrease. Reporting in Valencia, I'm Ethan Hugart.